AFK Journey is officially launching on March 27th across various countries and regions. While AFK Journey is a successor to AFK Arena, it is unique in that it's not just an idle game, but a fantasy RPG with distinctive visuals, intricate gameplay mechanics, and the classic PC side-scrolling elements. You can download AFK Journey for free on iOS, Google Star, and on the official AFK Journey website for PC. During AFK Journey's official release, they will be giving out more than 40 heroes completely free, and that includes epic heroes, which will allow you to experience a wide variety of combat strategies at no cost. All the heroes will be given away gradually, and by logging in for 7 days and participating in various events, you can get more than 200 drawers for free. Now, one of my favorite things about this game is its gotcha system. As you'll see here, we've got several options that we can recruit on. This is the rate up recruitment right here, so there will be a specific hero on rate up for this. Right now it's Vala. So in within 40 recruits, I would be guaranteed to get Vala on this recruitment banner. If I wanted to get her, this would be a great way to ensure that I get her, and it only takes 40 recruits. Then we have the all hero recruitment. So every hero in this game is on this recruitment banner, but the wish list is what makes this unique. You can set your wish list to two S level heroes and two A level heroes for each class. And these will be the only heroes you get when recruiting here. You will not ever get a hero that isn't on your wish list. So I'll do a 10 recruit here just to show you what that's like. And we got, so I got two Seths, and as you see on my wish list, he's one of the characters that I have set on my wish list for the Mauler class, so I didn't get anybody that isn't on my wish list. It's always going to be somebody on your wish list that you get anytime you recruit. This is great. This is a great way to ensure that you're not getting anything that you don't want. Also, as you see here, it tells me I have 11 more to go before I reach my guaranteed S-level hero on this on this recruitment banner. It's 60 recruits to where you're guaranteed to get one of the S-level heroes that's on your wish list. So that's really good. You never have to manually track how many more you have to go. The game's always going to let you know. And then we have the epic hero recruitment, and I really like this. Here you are guaranteed to get an S level hero after 30 recruits, and you can set your wish list on this one as well. It will be a wish list of S level heroes, and you will be guaranteed to get one of those five when you get the S level hero here. You can even put an A level he hero here, and they will automatically be upgraded to S level if you get them. So as you can see, I have this guy here. He's an S-level hero, but he's showing golden instead of purple because if I get him, since he's on my wish list, he's automatically going to be upgraded to S-level. So I really like this gotcha system as it pretty much guarantees that you're never getting anything that you don't want since you get to select, the select your wish list and ensure that you're getting heroes that you actually want. Now, another thing I really like about this game is there are so many different gameplay modes. In addition to following along with the main story, we have these unique battle modes. The first one here is Dream Realm. And this is basically a daily boss, so there's a different boss each day, that you can challenge and get more rewards based on how well you do. Today we have Necro Dracon. This guy looks pretty, pretty tough. I'm gonna try my hand at him and see how I do. So I'm gonna bring Eager, he's my favorite male he's my favorite DPS unit. Thoron, he's my favorite tank. Lucius, he's another tank that I usually use. Cecia, she's really good. And then I usually bring Rowan as my tank, and let's see how we do. Hoping I can defeat it. So far so good, we're doing a lot of damage. So we 
we've dealt more than half of its health already, and my team's still at full health, so I think we're gonna defeat this guy, no problem. Oh yeah, this guy's going down. Easy. Unless he pulls out some crazy new attack at the last second, this guy's going down. Still got 40 seconds on the clock. Almost there, 90%. And he is done. And since I, since, I, since I defeated it, I get all of these rewards. If I had only dealt a certain percent of its health, I wouldn't have gotten all of the rewards. I still would have gotten the rewards for the specific amount of health. Or if I had gotten 70%, I would have gotten all of the rewards up to here. But I defeated him, so I got everything. And then, after you defeat it the first time, you unlock the next difficulty level. There'll be more rewards you can get if you do what if you fight them on the higher difficulty, so let's see if I can do with the higher difficulty. I don't think I can beat him on this difficulty, but even if I don't, I'll still get rewards, so let's see how we do. Five percent so far. Yeah, this is definitely not fast enough to defeat him, but I think we can still get, like, maybe 50%. Let's see, maybe we can do better than that. Yeah, I lost my healer and they lost Igor, my main DPS. All I've got left is my tank, so yeah, we're not getting to 50%, unfortunately. Can we at least get 40? I don't think we can, but we're close, maybe. Nah, we can't. 37%, so I still got some I still got some experience books and stuff, so it's still still nice. Just not quite everything, still got a lot more to get, so gotta work on getting my team up so I can do better here. And then there's the arena. This is really this is really cool. This is something like a PvP mode, so basically in this mode you set you set up uh, you set up a formation and other players will be able to challenge and challenge your formation. I'm actually going to change this up a bit from what I have, so I'm going to replace these two, put in Rowan for my healer, Eager as another tank. going to take her out and put in my guy, Eager. So I think this should be a better formation. And now I'm going to challenge somebody else's formation, show you what that's like. These guys have pretty high scores. Not sure I can beat them, but I'll try. Oh wait, this guy's pretty low level. I can definitely take him. Yeah, this will be easy. Too easy. <laughs> As you can see, I get some nice rewards from that, some books, some gold. You can do that four times a day, and you can also refresh it a few times a day with only like 10 gems, so super cheap to refresh if you want to do that as well. And then this one, this is Honor Duel. This is my favorite gameplay mode. This is so much fun. I'll show you what this is like. So, instead of using your own roster of units for this, you, you get like random formations that you can, that you can pick from. 
So this one, you can see I can pick this one. This this is focused on disrupting the enemy's back line. This is focused on using Carolina as the car. That's her. She's really cool. She can freeze. I really like her. This is assistant group damage. Or you can just pick random, not even know what you're going to get, and just have fun with it. I'm going to go with this one. I really like Carolina. She's one of my favorites. I don't have her, but I experienced her here, and she's really nice. And now I can use these, point, these points that you get here. I can use them to get more units to use and some some equipment to my units. So, let's see, this reduces damage taking place by one ally one tal in front of the carrier. I'm gonna grab that. Increases ultimate damage by forty percent. Gonna grab that. Then I can grab three maulers, three wilders, but three random. I'm gonna take a shot in the dark and grab three random for eighteen. I got those guys. I'll do it again. Be more random. Alright. Got a pretty good healer there. So I'm gonna go with... Let's see. This is like a supporting equipment. So I'll put that on the healer. And then there's this. Ult damage increased by 40%. I think I'll place that on Carolina. And now let's go match. This is a PvP game mode, by the way, so I'm going to be facing other players that are doing the same thing. Alright, then we get kind of a randomized battlefield to select formation on, so let's see. Gonna place my healer back here. I'll place her right there. Then I'm gonna place eager right here then I select three confirm I'll get to see his formation so far and he'll get to see mine and then get to select few more so let's see I'll grab a melee unit and this guy not sure this is the best way I could have done this but we'll see how it goes Oop, lost my Salazar. But I'm also doing good damage to their units. I think I got it. It's pretty close. Oh wait, they still got a two units. I've got. So you need to get eager in there, doing some damage. Oh yeah, I think I lost that one. Yeah, I lost that one. Yeah, I could have had a better formation strategy there. I need to get a tank. And there we go. She's a tank. Definitely gonna grab her. Then what's this do? Consume 10% current HP every three seconds. Heal the weakest ally. Definitely grab that. Now let's see. I'll put that on my tank. But I'm also gonna try a different healer this time. She's also a healer, so I'll try her. What does this guy do? Okay, he's ranged. She's also ranged. This guy's also a ranged mage. Okay, I think we can do better this time. Alright, so I'm gonna place my healer. Then I'm gonna place Carolina here so she gets buffed by the equipment she has. And I'll place my tank right here, and let's see what they got. Alright, let's see, he's also got an eager, so you know I gotta bring mine. And then, let's get some range in there with a mage. 
Let's see how this does. Once again, not sure this is the best formation I could have gone with, but let's see how it does. This, this, this game mode is also a really good learning experience. I really like this. And my tank's dead. Yeah, we're not gonna win this. Or maybe I can win this? How many units do they have left? You got that shield though, that's gonna be hard to get through. Alright, we got healed up. I think we might actually be able to get this. I didn't think we would, but I think we might. We got Ego jumping around the tombstones there, and yeah, I think we got it. Just got one more. Ah, uh, there Ego's still jumping around. Ego's pretty annoying. He jumps around, making it hard to hit him, so I think this ended up being a drawer. Yeah, that was a draw. The ego was jumping around and being hard to hit. But a draw is better than a loss. Let's try one more. Also, you can see my HP here, these apples. You get you get three total lives. Unfortunately, I didn't get any more points since that was a draw, so we'll just try again. This time I'll place Carolina here. My healer here. My tank here. Yeah, I'll place her here. Then I'm actually gonna try her this time. And gotta bring Igor. That's my guy. Alright, let's see how we do. Alright, already lost my ranged unit. And yeah, I'm getting destroyed. So as you can see, this game mode is this game mode is pretty tough. You know, it's P, it's PVP, and you gotta get like randomly selected units and equipment. So you gotta be familiar with the units you get, and know how to know how to use them, know what random units you get to pair them with, all that stuff. But it's a really good learning experience. I really like this because it lets me get 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 experience with using heroes that I don't already have. Really nice learning experience. Now there's also the arcane labyrinth. This is sort of like a ro like a ro a roguelike game mode. I've already done it on this difficulty, but I'll go ahead and show you what it's like anyway. So basically, each 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 level in here, you're gonna get one of these relic gate things. It's gonna be buffs that you get after you complete the level. So I'm gonna go ahead and deploy my units. guys up real quick. Wow. Is and 
and now that I've defeated him, you'll see I have two options I can pick to get as my reward for this to go going through the remainder of here. Can get this buff, defeat enemies to get Vanquish, that'll decrease my attack by 5%. Defeat enemies to get Resurrection Pilsen, revive somebody if they die. I'm gonna go with this. At the end, it's gonna be a boss, so I wanna have as much damage as possible for the boss. Let's go ahead and beat these guys up. And, yep, we defeated that. And once again, you can pick more buffs for going through the remainder of here. I'm not going to show the cell thing because it's 15. It'll take quite a while to get through them all. But yeah, it's basically like a roguelike game mode. You go, you go through these stages, and at the end, there's going to be a boss. There's also the Legend Trial. So you're basically climbing through this tower. I'm currently on floor 2 out of 90 on this one. And this one has spe so this has special rules. The special rule here is that I can only use Graveborn heroes and that's perfectly fine by me cuz I've got a lot of really good Graveborn heroes like Thoran, Cecilia, Eager, so this one is perfect for me. You can see I'm getting through these guys no problem. Yep, did that no problem. Move on to stage three. As you can see, the enemy's levels are getting higher as we go on. I'll probably do one, two more floors. Now the unfortunate thing here is I don't I don't believe there are any Graveborn heroes that can heal, so I don't have a healer on this team. That's the one downside of this. I think we're doing pretty good regardless. Still will still was able to win with three units alive. But it is getting harder the more we go. So let's see if I can make it farther in. Might be difficult without a healer, but I'm curious if I can do this. And yeah, as you can see, the high, the higher floor I get to, the more rewards I get. So if I get to the next floor, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get three invitation letters to do three more recruits. And yeah, so yeah, as you can see, there's a lot of different game modes. So there's, the game has a lot of different content for things to keep you entertained every single day that you play the game. I really like this. And yeah, that just about covers all the main things I wanted to talk about talk about today. Yeah, this game is this game is a ton of fun. There's a lot of content that you can do in this game. I really like that. Even just going around the map, following along with the main story and picking up side quests, you can do is a ton of fun. So I'm super excited to, to play this game once it once it's officially out on March 27th, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all there. Thanks. Bye.